Yo, what's up guys, I'm KBHD here. Welcome back to Quarantine Content. Just a little entertainment for you while some of us are staying inside. I'm your host, Marquez Brownlee, and uh, you remember the Cybertruck, right? Made a lot of headlines, mean angles, no curves at all, pretty unconventional looking to say the least. But then after that, do you remember all the articles that came out about the phone that was based on the Cybertruck that was gonna come out just a few weeks later? Well, I have it here. And this is, this is perfect quarantine content because nobody's actually thinking about buying this phone, but I figured I'd check it out anyway because we just have that kind of time now. So this is called the Caviar iPhone 11 Pro Max Cyberphone. And I guess it's really appropriately named because that's really all this is. It's an iPhone 11 Pro built into a casing that looks somewhat like a Cybertruck, I guess. You know, there are definitely no curves to this body at all. It's uh, very angular. It's a straight up rectangle, uh, stands on its own. Very industrial looking, so sure, I guess I see it. And it also, like the Cybertruck, is huge. So it turns the regular size iPhone into a, a really wide, heavy, like brick-like object that would honestly probably be better as a self-defense projectile than anything else. The Cybertruck used cold rolled stainless steel as its like outside body panels, giving it that distinctive look. The Cybertruck phone, well, can the Cyber, can they call it, wait, hold on, Elon, can they call it the Cybertruck phone? Oh, it's the Cyber phone, right, okay. Maybe that's safe. So the Cyber phone also uses bare metal, as you can tell, and it's, it's titanium, they say. Now they sent me this review sample, which they say is aluminum, but the final versions will be titanium if they ship any. But just overall, you get the picture. You already know what an iPhone is and you know what it looks like. Just imagine it in a case made of curveless metal with some clicky button cutouts and grooves on the sides. In fact, that's really what it is. You know, the more you look at it, the more it just looks like an iPhone in a ridiculous case. And it costs $7,000. So, yeah, that's this is why I preface this by saying it's it's ridiculous. No one in their right mind would pay thousands of dollars for an iPhone in a metal case, right? But then again, here's the thing about pricing. Why would a thousand dollar phone wrapped in $300 of metal suddenly cost $7,000? You may be having flashbacks to the video I did not too long ago about why Apple's charging $700 for the wheels to the Mac Pro. Basically the pricing has everything to do with this logo on the back here Caviar, yes, they are also the ones that made that $100,000 gold iPhone I reviewed last year. You could imagine if Incipio or like Otterbox or somebody tried to sell a metal case for the iPhone like this, how much could they get away with selling a case like this for? $199, maybe? $249 at the most? But Caviar is doing their thing, going way over the top with the fancy packaging and then the whole bunch of separately packaged accessories in there and the ton of paperwork, including a certificate of authenticity and a bunch of advertising for their other products, you might see a sort of a theme here. So where you and I see a six month old iPhone wrapped in a metal case for $7,000, Caviar and its customers potentially see another tech themed accessory collectible that happens to be riding the press wave of the actual Cybertruck. Bingo. It's kind of dumb actually. Like the more you actually hold this and just look at it and, and try to use it, the more you realize this case actually makes the iPhone experience worse. And I know a lot of people buy nice cars and put them in a garage and maybe those same people buy this phone and never use it. But if you try to use this, cause that's my job, uh, there's a couple things you might notice that are pretty bad. There's a sharp metal lip at the bottom of the phone where you're supposed to swipe up for all your gestures every time you unlock. So that's pretty unfortunate. The lightning port at the bottom is now recessed pretty far in thanks to the thickness of the case, which means every time I try to use any higher quality lightning cable other than the cheap one that comes with the iPhone, it doesn't work because it doesn't actually reach the lightning port. It's too far recessed. Also, as you may have imagined, a thick metal case like this nukes wireless charging so you can say goodbye to that feature too. And I haven't tested the antenna performance, but I can't imagine a case like this improves signal strength at all. And there's also this huge hole on the side because that's where the SIM card ejector tray is. Now, they included this fancy tool, which is metal, with both a pin and a hook on it. 
And that's because in order to fish the SIM card tray out of this case, you need both to eject it and then use that hook to fish it out basically, which is, I mean, I guess it's cool that they thought of that, but geez, now that is an ugly hole in the side of your case. So after all this, I thought, you know what? Maybe it's a durability angle. You know, this thing's a tank. The Cybertruck played the durability angle pretty well after all. Well, pretty well. Oh my God. But I figured, hey, you know what? Maybe this metal enclosure holds up to drops better. But little did I know it would have its own Cybertruck window moment. I dropped the phone one time on video. That's the only time I've dropped it. And just like the Cybertruck, the glass cracked. So it's not entirely a bulletproof strategy. Also, you may remember the promo videos with this dramatic folding piece over the front of the screen for protection and ergonomics. But this one doesn't actually have that. See, this is the Cybertruck phone or Cyberphone Lite, and that one doesn't have any moving pieces. But on their site, you can step up to the full-on Cyberphone for $7,680, which gets you that fancy ergonomic plate thing, or you can step all the way up to the $20,000 Cyberphone Billionaire Edition, <laughs> where the, the, the body is made of silver with gold accents. I'm pre isn't silver a pretty soft metal, actually? Well, that probably won't hold up to drops well, but there you have it. The Cybertruck phone from all those videos and all those headlines does exist in real life and it's ridiculous and nobody should actually buy one. But you know what, as a reward for making it to the end of this video about a ridiculous thing you should never buy, uh, you get a chance to win one. So I'll be giving away this, my uh, cracked aluminum review sample of the Cyberphone. I'll be giving it away on Twitter in the next few days. So definitely follow over there if you wanna get entered and have a shot at it. Um, and also let me know what you think about this thing in the comments section below. Uh, also, you can always grab some merch if you want to support the channel. Link below for that as well. That's been pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys very soon in the next one. Peace.